Have you ever wanted a clone? Someone who could go to school for you, do your homework, and do your chores. Well, that's not exactly how cloning works. There are many different types of cloning. Gene cloning, which is cloning one specific gene, reproductive cloning, which is cloning organisms, and therapeutic cloning, which is cloning stem cells into tissues for organs. The cloning that we were talking about in the beginning focuses on reproductive cloning. So, what is reproductive cloning? It's when technology is used to generate an animal with the same DNA as another currently or pre-existing animal. The first animal that was cloned was Dolly the sheep in 1996. How does this work? This technique is called the nuclear transfer process. This can be done in a petri dish with egg cells, also called ovum, and mature skin cells, also known as fibroblasts. These are the steps. First, in a petri dish, a group of egg cells are stimulated to mature. Using a microscope and micropipette, the nucleus containing all the chromosomes are removed from each egg. So all that is left is the cytoplasm and zona, which is the outside protective layer around the egg. The fibroblasts or mature skin cells have a nucleus and cytoplasm. A fibroblast is injected into each zona, not the cytoplasm. This can be done with a needle. The newly fused eggs are then given an electric shock which mimics sperm entry. Now we have the skin cell nucleus in the cytoplasm of the egg. We can compare these steps with an analogy. You want to put Hershey's Kisses into a plastic egg. However, your plastic egg already has a lollipop inside. So you take the lollipop out, like how you take the nucleus of your egg cell out, and put your Hershey's Kisses inside, your fibroblast, and close the plastic egg. After the new egg cell is formed, cell division occurs and develops into an early stage embryo. This embryo is implanted into the uterus of a female host where it continues to develop until birth. In Dolly the sheep's case, the embryo was implanted into another female sheep. Ultimately, the female host gives birth to an animal with the exact same genetic makeup as the animal who donated the skin cell. This young animal is referred to as a clone, but any animal created using nuclear transfer technology is not truly an identical clone of the donor. Why? because only the clone's nuclear DNA is the same as the donor. Some of the clone's genetic material also comes from the mitochondria, which will be different from nuclear DNA. The success rates of this process are 1-3%, to really low. Also, nearly all clones have genetic abnormalities and die very young, since we use mature skin cells that already have shortened telomeres, which leads to rapid aging. So, if you want a clone, think again. With such a low success rate and high cost of technology, you'd have a better time just doing your own chores.